What does being a student athlete mean to you? To me, being a student athlete means working hard both on and off the court, being challenged every day and trying to find that perfect balance between school and sports. It also means feeling overwhelmed almost every day with all the things you have going on, a lot of injuries, sore muscles, rehab, lack of sleep, and a lot of assignments. But it also means a lot of traveling with your teammates, a lot of fun, success, and a lot of new people in your life. Uh, being a student athlete means that you uh, don't have a lot of free time because you have to balance between your uh, practices, your gym and your classes, uh, which can take up uh, your entire day and you don't have much time for rest and other social activities. Being a student athlete to me is something really important, I feel like, because I feel like that's where I learned all of like my time management skills, like my teamwork skills, having to, you know, keep up with classes and keep up with schoolwork while being, you know, on competitive teams. I feel like that's what that get played a really big role in my life. And that's kind of like who, how I ended up the person I am today. Describe your typical day. So my typical day as a student athlete would start off at 7.45 a.m. I would wake up to go to breakfast before my 8.30 class. I would typically have three classes and that would be from 8.30 till 11.30 a.m. And then from there I would go to lunch. After lunch I would go back home, grab my practice gear and go to rehab before my practice that starts at 1 p.m. and ends at 3 p.m. After practice, I would go back home, um, do my assignments, and try to squeeze in a 30-minute nap if possible. After that, I have weights from 5 to 6 p.m., and then I would go straight to dinner. And after dinner, I would just go home, shower, finish my assignments if I didn't do that earlier. And I would just scroll on TikTok or my social media until I fall asleep. I usually wake up at 6 a.m., uh, then I get ready for the gym. After the gym, I have my classes. After the classes, I have my swimming practice. Then I get back to my dorm. Um, I either get ready for bed or I get ready to go out with friends if I have some spare energy. But... Uh, my typical day starts with me waking up around 5 a.m. and going to 6 a.m. lift with my team. And I usually get like a little bit of a break before I go to my morning classes. After that, I'll start, you know, getting ready for practice at the gym. We'll practice, you know, anywhere from like 12.30 to three, you know, more or less, depending on the day. And then afterwards, yeah, I, I might have tutoring or I just need study hours at the Mac. So I spend my time there, try to get some work done. After that, it's usually around like six or seven and I get to go back to my dorm and like eat dinner and relax a little bit usually or finish up some more homework but yeah then i go to bed and then do it all over again <laughs> how challenging is it to be a student athlete being a student athlete can be really hard and challenging because you're required every day to be at your best both in practice and in school um, and most of the student athletes have um, scholarship responsibilities so they can't afford falling behind in school and that can be really challenging with all the practices, games, rehab, team meetings that you have going on every day. Uh, I would say that being a student athlete is uh, somewhat challenging, but um, we chose uh, the, the life we want to live. Uh, um, it can be hard sometimes because uh, you the practices and uh, the lessons take up a lot of our energy, but in the end, uh, it really pays off. I think it is challenging to be a student athlete. You know, like I mentioned before, there's a lot that goes into every single day. And, you know, you have to make sure that you balance your time efficiently, that you make sure you stay on top of your classes, you know, your tests, your homework, while also, you know, being mentally prepared to play in tough games and playing long practices. So I feel like it's very tough and very challenging, but very rewarding at the same time. 
Have you witnessed the different treatment of male and female athletes? Can you describe what you saw? I personally never witnessed um, different treatment between men and women in sports, but I know that inequality between male and female athletes is a big issue that needs to be addressed um, a lot until we see a big change. I think it's a lot easier for women to uh, do professional sports because um, there are a lot less female athletes than there are men, but they do make a lot less money than men. For how male athletes and female athletes are treated differently, I feel like I've seen people treated differently. You know, when they look at male athletes, they'll think, oh, they're so much stronger, they're so much faster, like they're just better athletes. And I feel like sometimes they get more support and like, outward support from people just because it's like oh like they're just so athletic and then we kind of get like overshadowed by that um because you know we're girls and that it's not as intense as like you know a football game or like as aggressive but like our sports are still really intense too but i feel like that's changing lately and that that's getting uh, better and we're getting a lot more support and so that's something to look forward to